Hi, in this video, I will continue to add some functionality to our activity project. Let's start. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to lock down uh, records uh, for old months. Let's say if uh, I can enter records uh, the current month and uh, the previous no uh, month, but before that, I want to lock down everything. So uh, let's uh, write a code for this. I'm opening my activity. Um, where should I write uh, this code? Uh, when I open uh, activity form, I open the current uh, month. So I, I don't need to write any code for that. But if I change month, uh, then I need to write this code. So let's uh, look at our uh, filters. Sorry, here. Month and year filter. So when I change these filters, okay. Now we have a range here. Mm. We can write in add range or we can write uh, here. Um, let's uh, write in uh, add range. I think it is more suitable for that. And Go back and after calculation, first we uh, we we need to uh, make sure uh, we will uh, lock down these records. For lockdown, the code is very simple. We will write hello create pause. Hello. Pause. And hello, delete. Pause. But we need a condition first. Okay, now let's look at our condition. We have start date and end date here. Also, we have selection month. Uh, so uh, we can use uh, different date functions here. Uh, for example, we, we have add months function, etc. Okay, uh, let's get this one. The selection is small than today. Let's get it here and okay. I think it's perfect. We will check this one too. Uh, also, uh, I want uh, we did uh, some uh, we 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 disabled it to create a new record for old month, but uh, before uh, change um, before changing month, we can select old date. So for all dates, uh, we need to close uh, this selection. We need to write a val validation here. And I think it's best way to write this in table. 
let's look at our validate write method here. We can write here, but uh, I think for this kind of validation, let's use validate field. And I will overwrite validate field method. method. Now it's very uh, similar to our modified field. Let's copy this one. And this is different. And yes, we want to write activity base. Now let's uh, let's control uh, if this state is uh, our scope. Again, we can write something like this. And we can check month or we can just check day uh, also. But let's check month Okay. Then we use check field again. Did. Okay, I, I said something like this. Uh, sorry. Uh, there was a, a syntax error here. And now it's perfect. Okay, now it's uh, perfect. Uh, last uh, thing I want to add is uh, if uh, the status of the record is uh, different than created, I want to lock down record. For this, I need to overwrite active method of this data source. In active method, if created then I want to close this data source to this hello Pause. Also, hello. Delete. Pause. Of course, uh, we need to write else because when we lock down this, we need to open if uh, if something else. Okay. Now it's 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 ready to test. Let's start uh, run our project and test uh, the functionalities. Okay, let's test. Now 
let's create a new record and change date and old month now it says activity date must be in a current period okay that's correct now let's see we can enter um, one yes okay now it's working and um, we have let's delete this one let's change another month for example sorry I think we don't have records for this one uh, let's go back to September and let, let's look at our uh, status here and for example if 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 we change this status to approve and when I go back this one, as you can see, I can't change anything. Now it's locked down. But when I go back this one, I can change. Okay, now it's working too. Okay, uh, this is the last functionality uh, that I want to add in our activity form. Uh, after that, in next videos, I will create security objects and some uh, rep reports for this uh, module, this, fun uh, this activity uh, project. I hope it's helping. Happy Daxic. Helping.